the Razorback Armada has turned up. Uh, the thing I actually had prepared for this, ready to uh, just set it live for the past three days, is actually useless because it looks like it's turned up as a tactical alert, so gone and start over. It's going to be around for a bit, but kind of like the Fomorians, there's a twist to this. Obviously, there's a percentage, and once that's gone down, it's possibly going to be gone completely. He's supposed, supposed to drop the Gorgon Wraith parts, but the way you get this to come back quicker, kind of like the Fomorian, is the invasions, the Grenier and Corpus ones. If the Corpus win, the Razorback Armada turn up. If the Grenier win, the Fomorian turns up. So people have been doing the Corpus one like crazy recently. I was actually watching it this morning because there was a, this one was a siege that was going on before this one popped up. And it was at 0 0.8 and then it was completely gone in about 10 minutes because people wanted Razorback to come back. But the other event was ongoing so he didn't actually turn up. But he is here now. One thing that wasn't expected is by actually going to the mission you can see you need to get Razorback siphons to... You're probably going to have to build a key to take on the Armada here. Wow, actually if we zoom all the way in here, you can actually see it's a bunch of Corpus ships. But of course the Lotus will send you a message with the blueprint for them. Having just been to do a mission trying to look for these, you're looking for cryptographic ALU. I'm assuming there may be a little bit more to that word that just doesn't fit on the screen. So it has been confirmed that these things do drop during Arcwing missions. It doesn't look like you need to do them on that that particular planet. I'm currently on the one on Neptune. And there's a lot of stuff over here. Anything in there? And there. Four of them. Wow, that is actually an insane amount of them. Well, that's me done. I can now go and take them on. But that is a lot of of these things to drop at once actually now I think about it but that does confirm those things are from Arcwing. Assuming you don't get distracted and go back in you can then build this it takes a minute it does need three gallium three and a half thousand polymer bundles but it only taking a minute is its saving point considering how much of a pain it is to farm Arcwing. Of course trick is because you can only use one of these at a time so you're not having to rush the next one, set it off so that one minute is going to be very, very complete by the time you've come over, clicked on this and done that and actually completed the mission. Don't forget to put it into your gear though. Hmm. How I forgot to do that, I will never know. You have to put it into your gear so you have it on you to qualify to be able to do the mission itself to take on Razor. Or Razor back. There are of course hyenas everywhere, there are also Xmas enemies everywhere, so expect locked doors to also be everywhere. Almost every room you go into, will have <laughs> it will lock you in there. He originally turned up in February of 2016 in the Divine Will Tactical Alert and was quite a pain to take down. Still kind of is. What you've got to do is Basically take out the bursas as quick as you can and once they're down They kind of fight on your side because you take them down hack them You have to hack them they have to be fighting for you But you have to hack a terminal to allow, take down the lasers to take down the bursa to let the bursa free to let the bursa attack razor back Then you can attack razor back once he takes razor backs Let's call them shields for argument's sake down. Once that's happened, you can deal damage to Razorback. This is a very long battle. It is just insanely... I mean, there is longer ones in the game, but compared to the Jackal, I kind of wish that Razorback became the Jackal boss fight just to make the Jackal a little bit harder to do. Maybe have it so you've got to use one or two of the bursas instead of as many as you do with Razorback because he just has an insane amount of health. He is quite a pain to take down but 
worth it considering he actually drops the Gorgon Wraith parts, which is why people will be doing this to get a hold of this weapon. Of course the percentage thing wears down the timer is just in case you don't get there. Hopefully, if this is just a case of he has a rare drop of maybe dropping that part. I honestly have no idea. It is a good way of getting an Arokan Catalyst though because once you've done the three it will obviously come to your inbox. And it's a built one. It's not a blueprint for one, it is actually a built one and those missions are fun taking on Razorback but it's just kind of left the big question of well where are the Gorgon Wraith parts? He does of course drop the rare event weapons I believe I got <gasps> Breach Loader which is 120% puncture when maxed and Virulent Scourge from taking him on those three times which isn't bad because the 120% mods are actually really valuable. This kind of confirms that he is dropping them. The Gorgon Wraith parts must just be an insanely rare drop from him. Anyway we'll leave this off here for now. Oh, I just got distracted by the stalker face there. This is obviously the timer is there just to stop it from running too long in case the percentage doesn't go all the way down the same as it does with the Fomorian when that returns. So it is worth giving this a try it's just I've already seen in the forums there's a lot of hurt about the fact that it's forced Arcwing but it uses the same mechanic that the Fomorian does so it makes sense that they were going to be there kind of wish it was just on the normal missions like everybody else but it wasn't as bad as people are going on about. Anyway we'll leave this off here for now. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.